Evening everyone, Liverpool manager, who would like to go first? <coughs> Good game, extra game we wanted to play. Uh, a really good defensive performance um, in a new structure. Offensively, it created an awful lot without using Rangers goalie. Had a couple of really nice saves, and we missed some others, but um, liked it a lot. Two goals we scored were really nice, like okay, bonus penalty, but the move from from um, Lucho for the pen was really good, and we played good in that in these areas. And the free kick from Trent was outstanding, and setting out to all the others. Can say it here again: set piece goals are actually my favorite goals because you don't have to wait for we are. You just can celebrate them. So um, in the end, uh, I think. Rangers came up a little bit, but um, didn't put us um, yeah, with one situation, really, uh, where Ali had to make a save. Uh, but apart from that, I, I, I liked the game a lot. Was that the good thing that you were creating the chances and a slight frustration? Within no frustration about that at all. Um, I really don't wanna, didn't want to sit here now and talk about a 4-0 or whatever. 2-0, top gives us three points. Let's keep going. Yeah, Sam. Darwin is obviously walking in the footsteps of some great strikers that have come here. He just still needs that first goal. Yeah, yeah. I think we can see that. So the way the boys, the boys up front moved today together, I thought was extremely, extremely good for one only one session. Working on it, to be honest, we never did it before. We had now one session, and that with a low intensity because we only played recently. Um, so that just see how good a, a good a striker is to come constantly in these situations. So I think everybody saw tonight that this this will happen, and um, so all good. Jürgen, your, um, your, your team's faced a little bit of criticism in the past weeks. Rightly um, so. How much does that factor into your preparations this week? You, you really look like, the team certainly looked like you had a, a point to prove right from the, the first whistle. A lot of urgency, the press really high up the pitch. How, how, is that just outside noise for you or is it, are, you, are you aware of the, the criticism? Can't wait for the moment when I can read newspapers again because I didn't read them for weeks. <laughs> Don't know what's happening in the world to be honest because um, I know the big news and the bad news, I know all of them. But. Um, no, I have no clue. Um, but the criticism was completely fine. It's completely fine. We are not over the moon about our situation. Let me say it like this. But it's all not. We we played here some really good games. It's not like ten years ago. It's not too long ago. And um, Champions League nights at Liverpool are, are always um, quite enjoyable, usually. Um, and that's what happened tonight again. But that that we are re- that we were really up to. I don't think it had too much to do with the situation, it was that game which gave us this um, job to do. But that's how I said, um, I, I saw tonight um, a team fully committed, that's what you saw obviously as well, and that's what I like a lot, and that's what we have to do. Jan, at the back. Hi, you um, Mo Salah was able to get into a lot of one v one situations in the wing. I just wondered, was there anything about Rangers' tactical set up for the back five that surprised you? No. I think they played against Napoli, start, played against Napoli 5 and the Ajax they started and changed. Well, the other way around? No, this was the way. Yeah. No, we're not surprised. We, but we had to prepare for both. But that's more. I think our setup was a bigger surprise tonight. They say like this, that's for sure. We surprised ourselves. <laughs> um, and yeah. These situations can then happen. It was difficult. It was difficult to defend. I think Diogo Jota moved particularly well in between the lines. Um, Darwin kept them away. But now um, we will see what we do when we come to Rangers. We respect them a lot, and we know it's a different game, different occasion, um, and we don't even think that we are kind of halfway through or on the right side. No, we really. That's why I said two top result, tough game, fight, good, <coughs> go from here. Ben, hey, with the glasses. You had another four work of to your usual starting 11. Is that an option that you like a lot? Yeah. Is that something that you can use again, or is it more related to this? No. Actually, nothing to do with the game. It had a little bit to do with the game, but not too much. It was for us. We wanted to defend differently um, to what we usually do. If you see us for a few years now, then um, it's 
if somebody was criticizing us for our defending, it was more or less people are talking about a high line, but that people created now, and when we were defensive press, in a defensive pressing situation, that they create a lot of chances, that's rare, was rare, but happened more now. That's why we set it up slightly different, close different gaps. Um, we knew that obviously uh, the left side is the of the Grangers is the creative side, Ryan and, and, and Balisic. Tavani is a big threat in, in the finishing situation. But so that was that was a part which had to do with the game, but um, apart from that no. Chris Baskin. Yeah, that's true. He played a good game, eh? so defensively, especially, wonderful goal. Um, how I said, we set it up differently. We cannot talk about that every week, but it's not. Uh, Trent has no defensive problem. We have a defensive, had a defensive problem. Hopefully, had because we, our timing was not right, and we take risk in defending. Everybody knows that. Um, if then the timing is not right, you open gaps, and these gaps are very often in the back of Trent. But not because of him but because of other situations and then he has to track back and yes, how I said, we, we, we were not in the perfect moment and that's why we adjusted it slightly. A wonderful goal, eh? Um, yeah, what can I say? I would now say that's well, Trent, but it's long ago that he last time scored a free kick, so I'm happy that he sh um, had this still in his locker. Jürgen, Mori. Jürgen, I appreciate this is not your problem or maybe your concern, but Liverpool and Rangers are both huge clubs in, in British football. I think a lot of people would watch that game tonight and see the gulf between the teams and find it quite alarming or, or damaging. Do you, do you recognize that? Do you, do you no. Oh. I would. Be calm about it. I'm pretty, Rangers is a really good team, doing really well, um, and played an exceptional season in Europe last year. Unlucky that they lost the final, qualified for the Champions League. That's all positive. You cannot have all in one. You have a bit of time to adapt to Europe as well. I think both. Maybe it's the wrong press conference to talk about Celtic. I'm not sure if you also stand up and go if I say the word, but um, use the word. But um, both. Um, of these clubs made a big step in the last few years and yeah if you want you can um, talk about the gulf between or you see how close they came and that's pretty much the way I would look at it but you're right it's not really my problem <laughs> thanks on that thank you everyone see you